So if you've been looking for a cheap and easy way to control your microcontroller projects, then a good solution is this universal remote control. And so what you want to start out doing is programming it to output a Sony protocol. So to do that, we're going to hold down this, the setup button until the red LED turns on. And then we're going to type in the code 605. Once that red LED turns off, that is a good indicator that your remote control is programmed and it's ready to output the Sony protocol. And so why is it important to program your remote control to output Sony protocol? Well, that is because this IR receiver is tuned in to pick up those type of signals. And this is the, type, the same type of sensor that you'll find on your home television uh, when you point the remote control at it. Um, and you can, as you can see, this circuit for it is very, very simple to build. All it requires is a power line, 5 volts. You have your ground and a resistor going to an output, an I.O. line. So let's go check out the tutorial for this. So here we have the tutorial. And the first thing it covers is the pinout for the IR receiver. You have 5 volts, ground, and signal. If I look down here. I'll see a schematic of the circuit I just went over, along with a visual representation of that same circuit. Uh, if I keep scrolling down, we have some instructions for how to program the remote control, which I just did. And we have some test code to make sure that everything is functioning the way it should. So here we have the block code. Um, and this code is covered, covered in the tutorial, but one thing I wanted to point out is this block here which is the Sony remote block and it's only one block and the way you find it is in sensors and then you click on Sony remote and as you can see it's easy to find there's only one block there and once I select it I tie it into a variable and so this block here returns the button that's being pressed on the remote control and then it places that value into this variable here that I call button and then once I get to the switch case section, um, button is compared to whatever value I have here. And if they match, the robot will perform said action. In this case, it'll just go forward. And once again, this uh, all this is covered in the tutorial. So we have this remote, and you can purchase a remote in two different ways. You can either get buy it as a kit, where you get the remote, the receiver, and its resistor or you can buy it as a standalone uh, where it's just a remote control by itself if you already have those other parts. So once you've loaded your code, build your circuit, and program your remote control, you should be able to do something like this. Forward, backwards, pivot, pivot, elbow. Thanks for watching.